First Corinthians chapter 7 regarding marriage. Now, about the issues regarding which you wrote the you wrote me. It is virtuous. Quite excellent for a man not to touch or marry a woman. But because of sexual depravity, let every man have his own spouse. And let every woman have her own spouse likewise. A gentleman should accomplish his duties lovingly as a husband. And a lady should accomplish her duties lovingly as a wife. The wife has no power or authority over her earthly body. But the husband has every power and authority. And similarly, the husband has no power or authority over his earthly body. But the wife has every power and authority. Do not deny each other except there is an agreement for a while that you may devote your time to prayer and abstinence and be united once more so that the devil does not bring you temptation due to your want of self-control. But I tell you this only as a concession and not necessarily as an instruction or order for I would prefer that everybody was as I am. But each person has his personal treasure from the Lord God. One man, one treasure. Another man, another treasure. I advise both the unmarried and the widow. It is quite excellent if they continue alone, precisely as I am. But if they are not able to maintain self-restraint, they should marry. For it is worse to be aflame with passion than to marry. Now, I order the married believers, yet it is the Lord, not I. A wife is not to leave her spouse. But if she leaves, let her, slay, let her stay alone. And not remarry or be reconciled to a spouse and a husband should not divorce his spouse but to the others I not the Lord declare if a believer has a spouse who is an unbeliever and she chooses to dwell with him he should not divorce her and a lady who has a spouse who is an unbeliever, if he chooses to dwell with her, she should not divorce him. For the infidel gentleman is sanctified by his believing spouse, and the infidel lady is sanctified by her believing spouse. Otherwise, your offspring will be unclean, quite like the hidden offspring. But as, as it is, they are sanctified. Now, if the infidel lives, let him live. A believing brother or a believing sister is not bound in such a case. But the Lord God has invited us to dwell in peace. For how are you sure, O believing lady, that you will not rescue your spouse? Or how are you sure, O believing gentleman, that you will not rescue your spouse. But as the Lord God has blessed each person, as the Almighty Lord has invited each person, let him proceed. This is the principle I instruct in all the congregations. Did the Lord God call anybody while he was circumcised? Then let him not change and become uncircumcised. Did the Lord God call anybody while he was uncircumcised? Then let him not change and be circumcised. Truly, both circumcision and uncircumcision are nothing. Obeying the commandments of the Lord God is what is important. 
let everyone continue in the same invitation in which he was invited. Were you invited while in bondage? Do not be bothered. But if you have an opportunity to be liberated, surely use it. For anyone who is invited in the Almighty Lord while a bond servant is the freedman of the Almighty Lord. Similarly, anyone who is invited while free is a bond servant of Jesus Christ. You were purchased at a special price, so do not become bond servants of humankind. My siblings and friends, let everyone continue with the Lord God precisely in that condition in which he was invited. Now, regarding virgins, I do not have an order from the Almighty Lord, but I give my judgment as a person whom the Almighty Lord, in his boundless mercy, has made reliable. Considering the pain and suffering of the present, I reason it is more advantageous for a gentleman to remain as he is. Do you have a wife? Then do not strive to abandon her. Are you without a wife? Then do not search for a wife. But if you get married, you have not done wrong. Likewise, if a virgin gets married, she has not done wrong. But married couples will have great troubles. Married couples will have great troubles in the world. And I will spare you that. I tell you this, my siblings and friends, the time is not long and thus from this very moment, all who have spouses should live as though they have no spouse. All who grieve as though they did not grieve. All who are happy as though they were not happy. All who purchase as though they did not have or own anything. And all who use this material earth as not abusing it. For this material world is fleeting at present. I wish you would rid yourself of all anxiety. Any man who is not married concerns and busies himself with the toils and works of the Lord God. Striving to please the Lord God always. But any man who is married concerns and busies himself with the toils and works of the world. Striving to please his wife. A man's wife and a virgin woman are quite different. The woman who is not married concerns and busies herself with the toils and works of the Lord God, that she may live holy both in her earthly flesh and in her heavenly spirit. But any woman who is married concerns and busies herself with the toils and works of the world, striving to please her husband. I tell you this for your own benefit. I'm not trying to hinder or restrain you. Rather, I want you to do what is good, to accomplish what is correct and admirable, and serve the Almighty Lord without reservation. But if a gentleman reasons he is not behaving correctly or properly towards his virgin, and she is already beyond the bloom of youth, let him proceed as he pleases. He does no wrong, they may marry. But any gentleman who stands firmly in his mind, without any pressure, has full control over his will, and has resolved in his mind that he will preserve his virgin and not marry, does quite well. And thus, the gentleman who gets married does quite well, but the gentleman who does not get married certainly does better. A spouse is not free as long as her husband lives. Now, if her husband dies, she is free thereafter to be married to any man she pleases, only if he is a believer. But she will be more joyful if she stays decent as she is. This is my judgment. And I reason that I also have the divine spirit of the Lord God.